Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hey guys, I know it's been a while. I know things have been crazy, but let's try and keep a normal schedule for as much as we can uh, so that we can maintain our sanity. My schedule has been crazy. So, uh, my wife is isolated. My mom is isolated. She lives with us. She's 74. It's been a week and we haven't gotten our test results back. And my wife's like a doctor. So they said two days. Today's day seven. That aside, I've been Mr. Uh, teacher to the girls, uh, plus cooking and cleaning. So, um, I thought we would, uh, yeah, Maddie, come on down. Maddie's going to join us. Why not? I thought we would, you know, open some stuff. I, I had some stuff sitting here for a while, because uh, I just didn't want to handle it. It was stuff that came in. So I had ordered a second set of these guys, finally. These are the Transformers Super 7 reaction figures. And I have here a uh, Action Master. Random guy. This is Megatron. And I have have uh, here Megatron. So, uh, it's been a while since we've actually opened a carded thing on this show. So, uh, I'm going to show you... Now, typically, because this is my second one, you know, it's... The mint one is away. This one, it, it's got a little ding in the corner. So this is the one that I'm going to open. Now, because I already have another one, I would rip this open. But I want to show you how I would typically open stuff. Hey, Maddie. So I would show you how I would typically open stuff if I wanted to keep the card back. All right? So I take my blade. All right, that's the remote for the light. Look. That light's on. Go look at it. So, um, uh, yeah, take it. Don't lose it. Ooh, All right. So, tiny. so I'm gonna take my that's blade, tiny. and I'm gonna cut as close to the card as possible, right? Because I want to preserve that card art. Now, usually the corners are tricky because that's where a substantial amount of the glue is, and you kind of have to lift the knife up and then come back down like a wave motion. Like think about a wave at the beach. And if you don't do that, look, I'll show you. When you have that wave motion, it gives you a pretty good line. See, I, I missed the nick there. But on the other side, right here, I didn't have that. I kept it I kept it flat. All right, I'll take care of it, Maddie. Just, uh, you know, just don't worry about it. I got it. No, no, I got it. Go, go explore. I'm in the middle of my show, so go explore. I can't talk right now. All right. Fine, just okay. Go. So, kids, you know I have kid. I the kids are at home. The kids are. This is the reality of what what it's like. There's no more school year. This is the reality. So, let's make the most of it. All right. So I got the bubble here. I'm actually going to save this just in case because I had a crazy idea of having one of these painted as that unreleased uh, commemorative uh, safety blue nerf. Megatron. So I'm going to save this. Um, but that is how you save the card back. If you want to save the card back. Alright, so let's take a look at this thing. This is my first time opening a Super 7 figure. These are inspired by the, I would say, Kenner Star Wars articulation of the 70s and 80s, which was in turn inspired by uh, Fisher Price uh, adventure people. So there's no articulation in the arms or legs other than they move up and down. So it's called five points of articulation. The head has a slight articulation and 
There is no... There's no port to put a weapon in. So I think that would have been a huge opportunity to make different weapons for uh, different characters. Stop, 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 leave it alone. Stop. Yeah, go do stuff over there. Go touch something expensive over there. So, let's go compare these two, all right? So this is G1 Action, Mega Ma Action Master Megatron, Reaction Super 7 Megatron. Now the Action Masters were inspired by the animation look. However, it is a new day, and we've come a long way in the last 35 years, 30 years since Action Masters. So, this is way more detailed. I wish it did have the articulation of the knees of an Action Master. I'm not too worried about the ball joint at the hips, but I wish it did have that knee articulation, and I wish it was able to hold uh, a weapon as well. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks. That f that fell out. Okay. I will fix that. All right. So. Oh, those are wipes. Don't. Oh, but you know what? Now might be a good time to talk about this. These are. You know what, Maddie? Good job coming down here because this is the perfect time to talk about this. These are Transformers branded wet ones. Yes, they exist. Like really wet ones. They're, they're, they're like wet got, wipes, yes. Like you just got out of the bath. Yes, they're antibacterial hand soap and... Can I try one, Maddie? I don't, you know what, it's sealed on the inside. I, I doubt, it's like a brick in here. This is from, oh my God, let's see. This expires 2019. <laughs> But I bought this, Transformers the Ride, so let's see. I must have bought this around 2012. It's not working, Daddy. Yeah, that, that remote doesn't go to that, hon. But so, I mean, there it is. I, you know, if this had happened a few years earlier, I would have had uh, Transformers wet ones. So, all right. Who Unfortunately, this is Megatron. Fortunately, they can't hold weapons. See, I He's thought that's a, a he is a bad guy. Yeah, just like your sister. So he's not a bad guy. Unfortunately, can I uh, they, him, Daddy? Him. Yeah, go play. <laughs> so unfortunately, they can't hold their weapons. All right. <laughs> this one you cannot touch. Only I shall touch it, for I am the keeper of the G1. So li that's a little harder <laughs> to find. All right. So, Maddie, you're look, you're in the way. You're in the way of the video. So, take I that. I do. I know. I know. Why don't you go explore over there? Go look at the Beast War stuff. Oh, um yeah. You know what I actually have not open? I have a bunch of these over here and I just set up my uh Oh, uh, that that was a hard to get two pack. This is Red Wing. I'm actually in the middle of setting up my chug display. Um, you know what? It's just actually a good time to, to open this. So, as I was saying, you know what? Now that we got the Megatron back, as I was saying, you know, not having them have weapons here or that little hole in the back, right? You can't make little accessories for like exclusive or redecos. Like, all right, I could see a repainted version, like a battle damage version of this with like Energon leaking from it. Like he's, you know, really damaged, bleeding, bleeding. But he comes with a new accessory, which would be the uh, Energon Axe. Now, I guess you could retool the arm to make that happen. But from my design POV, that's how I would have approached it. And I'm not saying this is wrong in any way. Everyone has their own style. So... Here, Red Wing. That's, yes, that's another thing. Let's just, yes, you're touching everything. Uh, Transformers toothbrush with toothpaste. Um, looks like the glue has come on done. When are you going to use it? I am not. Uh, okay, so this was actually available separately, and this was available separately. 
Uh, yes, yes, they're wonderful. And uh, so this is just a two pack um, made by Colgate. Expires December 2013. And uh, oh, as a bonus, it has a little <laughs> has a little oh. Lego thing on the inside, which is completely unrelated. Yeah, you see, you touched something sharp. All right, Maddie, why don't you go upstairs? Because I'm recording. So, Red Wing. So, Red Wing. The box has some, uh, some print on the inside. It's, yep, yep, those are delicate. Those are super delicate. You found them, all right. This is actually cut the tape with patience. That's what the set, that is also cool. Yeah, yep, you don't have to show, I know it's there. You don't have to show me that one. I know it's there. That is all, yep. Yeah, it's great when you grab it by the flap like that grabbing things by the flap so it, I am afraid to turn around uh, yeah you know you don't have to pick everything up off the shelves yeah 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 you don't have to pick them up off the sh no you went ahead anyway oh. so I've been keeping the girls busy with Legos I've got a few hundred Lego sets waiting to be built The, uh, oh, this is, uh, yeah, go ahead, try that Optimus Prime mask on. So this was really in there. That is, that is a tight, no, don't take the, don't take the header card off. Oh, oh, uh, okay. I'm in, I'm in, the, okay, come here. Hey, come here. Yeah, let come here. <laughs> I got a Captain one. All right, turn around. Yeah, you got a Captain America one because I didn't want you to have this one. All right, look, there you are. See? Oh, <laughs> there's a piece missing. Is there? Oh no, that's just your hair. Ow. Yeah, Ow. it hurts. Take it oh, off me. Yeah, yeah. Give me your face. Give me your face. I'm trying to. The okay. Other one up no. Yeah. Go. Uh, yeah. Upstairs. Get. The, yes. Get the other one upstairs. And and. That's Maddie. That's the uh, youngest child that I have, as far as I know. So, I knew there was a reason I bought all those couple hundred Lego sets. And, uh, just been, hey, storing them away until the basement was done. I can build my Lego city. But, uh, this is taking a long time. And I thought during this whole apocalypse that, uh, oh, this will, you know, this will be good because I'll be able to come down here because I got laid off. So I'll be able to come down here and do some work. Uh, but then the schools, you know, they're not going to reopen. So now I'm a teacher uh, all of a sudden uh, trying to put together a curriculum. So right now we were in the middle of the break. I thought she was entertained uh, watching the TV. But um, this is Red Wing. And um, it's funny how characters become staples based off whose mind they're in. And what I mean by that is, hey, you have a designer and hey, Windblade comes along and that's his character, you know, that's or her character. And that's the character that designer made. And uh, I'm gonna put Windblade in every line. I'm just using that as an example because I think it's the, it's the most pertinent example. And then that designer leaves or goes to another brand and maybe Windblade doesn't show up anymore. Maybe Windblade becomes a permanent part of the brand so yes we now have captain america with uh t-rex 
Yeah, take loot. Yeah. So. Pick a number. Okay. No, we don't need to pick a number. Thank you. So, uh, like Bulkhead. I'll give you, uh, okay, an example of Bulkhead. So Bulkhead was a character that we started with animated. And then we thought, all right, we really like Bulkhead. We brought Bulkhead into Prime. And we were going to, you know, Bulkhead was going to be, he started showing up in the comics. Flint Dilly said, hey, uh, who's a character I can bring in or introduce? And I said, hey, there's, you did find a Lego. Uh, and I said bulkhead, so it ended up in one of the comics from uh, Flump Dilly. Can I keep this in the basement? Sure you can. All the way over there on the other side. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Keep going! No, keep going. All the way to the other side. Yeah. Keep going. So, uh, like Red Wing. Red Wing, I would say, is a, is a small example of that. Um... So that's how things happen. Uh, a designer leaves and they think, uh, and maybe that character sticks around, maybe it doesn't. So as uh, Aaron and I and uh, Eric before us had left, uh, Bulkhead ended up leaving because uh, Bulkhead hasn't really shown up anymore. So yeah, no, keep going. And so, so uh, maybe that'll happen with, Windblade? I have nothing against Windblade. Uh, the only problem I have with Windblade is that the design is a little too uh, stereotypical, I think. But uh, remember, Windblade is, you say, is, uh, okay, let's say it's inspired by uh, a geisha. Well, Transformers have a long history in Japan. You have Takara Tomy. And she wields a blade like a samurai with a coat of honor. So, you know, maybe that's a way of honoring Takara. Um, okay, so that was somewhat of a cut tape. Wet wipes. Uh, I'll put these on eBay. I don't think I don't think these are gonna work anymore. I'm not putting that on eBay. All right. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Maddie, how long do you have to wash your hands for? 1,000. Not 1,000. What's the number? Three. No. Four. No, 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 no. Five. No, Maddie, how long do you have to wash your hands for? What number do you have to count to? One, two. No, no, just tell me the number. Six. All right, we're going to work on that because it's 20. 20. All right. Be safe, be good to your neighbors, and try, and try and show some patience.